All right. So in this video, we're going to run through the setup for uh, the um, Drupal Native blog project uh, for iOS. <clears throat> so we are going to start by uh, creating a new uh, Xcode project. Actually, sorry. Uh, we've got the uh, setup instructions from the Turbo iOS uh, documentation. Uh, so with that, we're going to start off by creating a new iOS app in Xcode. Uh, we're going to call this Turbo iOS. And a couple things that I mentioned in the documentation, if we go to, um, so we go to make a new project, as I say here, in the quick start, make sure that we use a storyboard under the interface and UI kit app delegate for the life cycle, which that doesn't, uh, Really show up in here. So uh, we're gonna do storyboard for the interface and go next. And we're gonna create this in the same uh, master database where we have our Rails app. And it's gonna create some of our setup files. So we are going to just run this to get it started and make sure we're compiling properly and uh, don't have any issues right off the get go. Uh, so we're loading, installing, and booting up, and yay, we have a project. So we're good there. We're going to go back in here, and we're going to add uh, packages. And uh, we've got the Turbo iOS as one of our options in here. So we're going to add that package. And we're going to add it to the Turbo iOS target. So now we've got, uh, we've got the Turbo set up over here. And uh, let's just stop it. Run it again, just make sure that everything is wired in. Um, it's really easy to shoot yourself in the foot, and not have things set up properly from the start. So this just makes sure we're good. Okay, so um, so they say that we should replace the entire scene delegate with this stuff here, which we're just going to copy that whole bit out and copy and paste it over to the scene delegate. And let's run it again. So this is going to test to make sure that we're pulling things in, connecting to all the Turbo Native libraries, and we're using their um, sample uh, website, which it looks like we are. So we're good. Navigating there, going back, slow page. Great. So everything's working. Um, so with that all set up, what we want to do now is uh, start our server uh, and connect to it instead of the uh, test one. So um, I'm gonna make sure that uh, uh, that our database is running. And then I'm gonna go into uh, the Rails directory and Rails start, we get that going. So I'm gonna throw this down here so we can still see that it's doing stuff when it's uh, while well, it's working, and then you go back to our app, and I'm gonna say let's start running local host 3000, and run it again. So this is where we're gonna probably start seeing some errors. Um, oh, okay. Um, I was expecting that we were gonna get an, a complaint about using HTTP instead of HTTPS, so that's great. Um, okay, so we are now loading the Hello World app. If we pull down all the way, we refresh. We're getting a nav bar that's matching the title from the Rails app, and uh, that's looking good. Um, okay, so before we move too much forward, we want to add a move some of these things out into a, a little bit more um, customized app controller uh, uh, just to kind of keep things a little bit separate so we are going to make a new file and it's going to be a swift file and this is going to be the coordinator for the entire application so we're going to call it app coordinator coordinator So this is going to be a class app coordinator. And uh, we're going to be tying this in with some of the um, things that require um, some of the dynamic runtime things. So we're going to make this uh, 
PANS object. And okay, so we want this um, to be part of the scene delegate. So in here, we're going to have our um, let app co coordin. I cannot spell on this keyboard, sorry. Coordin meter equal app coordinator. Yay, we got that typed in properly. Amazing. Um, so this is going to take care of kind of a higher level coordinating our application, uh, creating sub coordinators for different sections. And we're going to see that where that comes into play a little bit further on, especially as you start adding different tabs and signing in and those types of things. Um, so we're going to, we're going to get there as we build things out. Um, I'm just checking my notes. Um, okay. So with that set up, um, we're going to move some of this functionality out. So we're going to grab the session and the visit options, and we're going to pull that out. And that's just going to go straight into the app, uh, sorry, the app coordinator. Um, and so these are now complaining about, so we're going to be moving our kind of our initial view controller into here. So we're going to have, um, so we're going to be moving the navigation controller out. Um, as well and scene uh, okay so when the scene starts up we are gonna window.root view controller is equal to the app coordinator dot navigation controller and we're gonna move this into here so the app a coordinator dot start and that dot start is going to be kind of a common theme that we're going to be using throughout a bunch of um, a bunch of our other coordinators. And all of that's going to do is it's going to visit that URL. Um, we're also going to want to import into here Turbo and this session delegate is going to be moved out as well. Um, and we're going to need UI kit in here. All right. So the session gallery itself, we need to, uh, be able to handle that. So we're going to move. Actually, that's all going to be the stuff from down in here. And with that done, we probably can move this turbo out of here. And All right. And we're going to make this not private. And let's see if this all still works. Actually, let's get that coordinator and turn it back to the original glitch one. and see if that works well. So this will be a good test to see if we're still pulling everything and navigate, yep. 
great. And we can see that we're, if we go down here, uh, we can see that this is working. That the delegates are, assign, uh, are all assigned to each other properly. Um, ah, here, let's just throw a, So we are, you can see that it is wired up and things are working as expected. So let's turn this back to our original or to our version and just do a test on that. So if we hop into here and load up our test system. So right now we have turbo rails and that's coming from here. If we update this to be turbo rails, put a space in there, refresh the page. You can see we're getting turbo rails. So everything here is wired up and working correctly. So at this point we have a rails app that's serving up uh, the kind of that home page. We are able to change the title of things from the rails side and we are connecting to it properly from turbo native. All right, so with that all in place, I think that we're good to move on to um, actually creating some real content in the Rails side, seeing it on the iOS side, and then uh, uh, being able to edit things from the iOS side after that. All right, so until the next video, uh, have a great day.